Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So, I didn't really have an occasion to play off screen, so we still have Darkness Falls, Suicide King, and Family Man to do. I guess we would do Family Man, if anything. Um, and then, I suppose, what we're trying to do here is, like, Either we go to the Lamb and Mega Satan and all of that with the Isaac now, or we start to try and get some of this stuff done with some of the other characters. And I guess the best way to figure this out would be to play as Magdalene with the thought process that we're going to the Cathedral and we're hoping that we can beat the Cathedral and... Uh, and also do a boss rush at the same time. Like, by filling out Magdalene's potential uh, post-it, as far as just the bosses that get marked when you do something, uh, I, haven't been, I haven't played in a couple days, so I'm going to be fairly not warmed up anyways. Uh, but if we fill out her post-it on normal and nothing unlocks, then that could bring us to the to the thought of do we really have to play these things on hard to unlock the last few items? Uh, one thing that I did notice uh, as far as the Repentance DLC is that it has a completely different alternate path. Uh, that you can go down. I imagine all of that is stuff that has to be unlocked through a lot more progress than you could possibly unlock here. Um, but in the alternate path, it kind of does something interesting in that it puts mom's heart right next to mom's foot. So you will fight mom's foot, you will go one room to the left up down right and that you're at mom's heart at that point you just fight her um, and you're still going downward at that point you're going downward into different rooms yes but still downward um, but you are just fighting other collections of uh, people I think this is a tinted rock, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it it kind of trivializes Mom's heart as a character in the in a weird sense. Maybe trivializing it is the wrong phrase to say. It recontextualizes what the game is in Repentance uh, because it's just way more difficult at that level. Alright, deal with the devil. Start with the dark bum. This should potentially work very well. And two teleport rooms. Not ever useful. I mean, I mean, there's possibly a scenario where it would be useful, but I'm gonna risk it and see if the secret room is here. It's not, so the secret room must have been here. Um, which that puts us in a weird position, certainly, but not a crazy position. I don't even know where the super secret room would be, I, I guess. There's a chance it's way over here. Uh, and had I looked at the entire map, maybe that balancing factor would have made it more obvious. I'm not doing terrible yet. Uh, it's not time to complain. Um, seems like I'm gonna win against this guy fairly easily, so I th it'd be crazy to use the High Priestess card at the moment. Uh, 
our little baby friend is shooting out flies, which helps. He's, he's actually a pretty good one. There we go. All stats up, including health. So on the first floor, we have decent amount of everything just increased. Uh, that That is a really good starting floor. <clears throat> But if we're going to do boss rush, we're going to rush. So, potentially no gambling, no no wasting time. If I'm going to drink water or say something, I should probably pause the game. Um, honestly, my commentary probably is severely reducing my chances of boss rushes in most runs. Uh, there, There is the hundred percent hands-on effect of a game like this where you're just always pressing a button and always put moving the controller around uh, whereas in the 2000s and 2010s we've we've started to see a lot of games have fairly significant amounts of cutscenes where you ju can just take a break um, yeah, so I think there's something that might unlock for using the death card three or four times in a run. Um, I'm not sure how you could really guarantee that, though, un until you got the blank card, which that is the thing we would need, is the blank card to be able to use multiple Jarrahs. Um, Yep, Necronomicon. Uh, maybe it was more a case I needed just to use the death card ten times or something. Yeah, we weirdly are still in that situation where uh, there is th there is less of a r reason to to. Oh, what am I trying to say? To to just run because we we just need to grind things out. We just need to die a hundred times. We just need to play cards several times. We we just uh, there are just number counters that are going up as we do runs, and that makes an argument that. Maybe you shouldn't have bothered to do the challenges as early as I had done. Like, it definitely would have made sense to say, oh, challenges are obviously for when you are, uh, or for when you are closer to, to being uh, complete with the game, not for when you are uh, just starting out the game. At this rate, the we're gonna have to take these pills. Uh, that was ranged down. No good. All right. So there is a blue tinted rock. There is a casino. Um, I suppose what we're looking for here is trying to get some coins. If we could get some bombs, that would be nice too. There's some pills. Let's go ahead and do this. We're hoping that the pills, one of the pills gives us a health up. Full health. Meanwhile, I'll take these coins, and I guess we're looking for bombs. Setting ourselves up early with, with keys, seems like it is going to be a fairly heavy key, key run. Let's do one more, this will be funny if this gives us Skatol, like 
So let's go ahead and then we'll start here. And that's all I can see forever. That's all you, wizard. That's speed up. And that's range up. Okay. Then we'll come back up here and pop this one. Hmm. Hmm. So we'll take a three cent soul heart. Um, we don't need a key so much. Hmm. And pills. So much. There's no hearts on the floor either. So back to gambling, I suppose. Nope, nope. I probably should have just shot that so that it would blow that guy up. We're looking for health. Hmm. Probably not going to get it. Hmm. I got a couple bombs. Okay. So then we'll blow up this guy. We'll take a burnt butt penny. Not burnt penny. We'll blow up this guy. And we'll blow up this. Hmm. And I guess we'll blow up this. And then I guess the question is do we want to take telepills with us? Probably so. There's no sacrifice room. Um. And probably no chance for a boss rush at this point. We'll blow up this. I, it may very well not be worth it to be blowing up anything on this floor since we've already done the boss fight and seen that, um, seen that there's no deal with the devil. Hmm. Blowing up these rocks for a key would not be worth it, but blowing up these rocks for potential tinted hearts is worth it. Hmm. Now we've got another buddy, so... Um, but if there is something that's unlocked for having a bunch of babies and companions, it is going to be a big number. Like... You're gonna have to have five or six things. And now we have a Gumpy item. Alright, I think that's as best as we can do. This little loading screen is the only time you really have uh, any opportunity to take a break. This feels like this is going to be a fly level. Hmm. Didn't, shouldn't have taken damage there. Go ahead and use the yum heart to recoat our life. Um, suppose there's no reason at this point to not just immediately start in here. Um, what does this do? We've never had this item before. Hmm. So I guess what we do is we'll take this into the big room and we'll go see what... We'll take it just into this room and then we'll do that. 
um, seem to apply a fear effect to everything. Yep. I don't see a value in that item. And there are items certainly in later, later expansions that are like dice shards where you can one time reroll things. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why I'm bothering to do that when I should be doing that. So now our best friends are big. That was a good deal. We'll potentially want to come back and spend five cents um, for another soul heart. Um, do we want to take on the boss now? Yeah, I guess we do. There's there's higher chance of a devil deal that way. And then, do we want angel rooms? Um, yeah. I don't know if we want angel rooms or not. We, we'd have to look at our stats, and I think damage probably is what we're going for. We don't really want a down ability to dig. I'm going to use the devil card in this room. And that will drastically increase my damage against enemies that really didn't need an increase in damage as much as they just need to be vulnerable. See, even the black hearts can't hurt these guys when they're locked down like they are. Hmm. So, we've got telepills. In this room. So we'll go into the sacrifice room. Well, actually, we're not flying, so telepills would only help us so far. Like, usually, I'm always flying, so. I. Two keys. Hmm. Lies doing very helpful fighting. Um, that was speed down, so now we know. Yeah, I should be letting the dark bomb grab things. I have plenty of keys, so. I guess you go in here and we see what we reroll. Um, three probably changes everything in this room. So blow this up in hopes to get a bomb. No such luck. So and that rerolled that into a penny, which totally makes that pointless. I guess we'll go check this out just in case this was a bad room but it gave us a couple bombs now these are hearts so I'll take this half heart and I'll let the dark bomb grab the other one super secret rooms and secret rooms now are the question of the moment Do we have any chance of finding a super secret room? Probably not. I mean, secret room could be here. It could be here. It 
can't be on either side of these. Good. So, my guess would be this is a guaranteed return. Take this first. One coin short. Which I guess I could throw a bomb and get this coin. It is odd to do that deal, certainly. But a bomb for a coin for a... a for a soul heart. There we go. Guppy's head. Constant fly flies. And second guppy item. Is it worth it to blow up the pot? The mushrooms? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just have to assume that there is no secret room. Um, otherwise, it would have to be like over here. Yeah, interesting. Interesting way to go with that. Yeah, you can't really do the boss rush until you've put the coins in. Um, okay. And I had re-rolled everything, so... It, it changes this to a discounted key. And this to a bomb. And... I guess we have no cards or pills, so we'll take that pill for a speed up. And that didn't put any coins into the donation machine. But overall, I think that kind of helped quite a bit. But look how far away we are from the boss rush. Yeah, we, we need to play and we need to get the the coins in the donation machine. We need to get victories and uh, uh, to further directions. And so we need to play more carefully. Whereas once I get a 999 coins into the donation machine, then you you can just blow up the donation machine if you need coins and you can play a lot fast and loose with the with the items on the floor you don't have to clear every room potentially uh, theoretically you would have unlocked more powerful items increasing uh, decreasing the need to get multiple items or do things like shoot flames can't get that key unless I can fly which there is a decent chance I will be flying by the end of this level. There we go, free. Free bomb, dark bomb. Give me a soul heart. Let's see. Hmm. I'm still not really sure what the fish head does. Um, other than possibly attract flies in the sense that it makes more fly rooms appear. Flies, uh, which would explain the big exploding flies. Uh, so fish head with Skatol might be great not so great at the moment burnt penny wealth of chaos we'll take that instead repentance and I, I don't know if this was added in repentance or not um, that's true for pretty much anything I say in repentance um, there's it introduces 
the idea and the concept of rotten hearts that summons flies for each kill or each room you clear. Um, so if you had, say, 12 he health and 12 rotten hearts, you have clear a room, you'd get 12 flies. Ooh, this is definitely worth it. Humbling bundle. And then at a certain point, it might even be worth it to consider getting the soul converter uh, to build up your red hearts. Uh, well, getting a golden key, I guess I should have made more use of that. So every time we get a coin now, we're going to get a bomb. Which puts us in a very nice position. As long as we hold on to the trinket. That we have. and We, we would have to be given some something way better. Um, I don't think we can get to the challenge room, and I guess if we are just going to go ahead and skip the cursed room, we can, like, not take damage. Let's see. Chariot. Oh, that's about as good as we can get, although we can blow this up. We don't always get bombs, but we're getting double items also, so... Yeah. Everything is working very well. Hmm. I guess it would just come down to... Do I really need to pop the chariot at the moment, or...? Hmm. Darn it. Somehow dropped a chaos bomb. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking for guppy items, and he's not really giving me guppy items. Uh, we probably have enough at this point to also buy, let's see, soul converter to convert the soul hearts into red hearts. We could do it now, and we could increase our red hearts a lot, or we could put everything in here and just be happy with that. Hmm. Hmm. Two... It would give me two health ups. I'm gonna just try that first, and I guess that doesn't work, so then I guess we'll do this. Hmm. There's our soul converter. Um... And then I guess at this point we are thinking about trying to check out the cursed room. We can't do the challenge room. Not worth it to get that key. Not worth it to get in there. We do have some mushrooms here, so three mushrooms with one bomb is probably worth it. And that was paralysis. And then we'll try and get three mushrooms and a rock with this bomb. And that gives us, are you a wizard? Hmm. 
We don't see any tinted rocks or anything around. I suppose now coins are fairly useless. Because we can't put any more in the machine. Which, arguably, that if I was just 100% focused on putting coins in the machine, I would just say, okay, that's the end of this run. Let's, uh, let's reset and just exit out and start a new game. And I don't know if that counts as breaking a win streak or not. Um, I kind of feel like it doesn't count. Um, if you personally choose to just end your run. I don't think it counts as a run, obviously, but I think it just leaves everything kind of neutral. So you gotta be careful the troll bombs, but otherwise we are very well suited. Hmm. Looks like we're on a path to Fight the uh, seven deadly lands. Hmm. Skatol in a run like this would be potentially useful. Hmm. See, so he's picking up double hearts now, so he's gonna potentially duplicate our health. Um, with the soul hearts. At a certain point, if I had been able to do a soul convert all the way to having like 10 red hearts, or even maybe 11, that would make Dark Bum a little less useful. I guess we do want to maximize our rate of return since we did put a whole red heart into him. Into getting him. This is one of those rooms where let's just kill this thing. And I don't think Dark Bum can go and pick up that heart. Go ahead and see what's in here. This would just re-roll everything. Um, yeah. Let's think about it. I mean, it is definitely a thought to have. Notice how the bomb there lost its momentum when I walked out of the room, but it's also paused so it was still far enough away I guess there's a reason to shoot for things I kind of want to put a bomb here but yeah the, the danger is a little too high to try and bomb there Could be a secret room there. Let's continue looking. Could be a secret room there. This really isn't a run that would justify blowing, uh, re-rolling everything. The only reason I would even consider it is just because I'm being silly and, and trying to get more new items that we may not have seen or just trying to see. Like, look at your stats, look at where you are. This is definitely not a room to re a run to really re-roll. 
Oh, there, there are people over there. I thought this was an empty room. It's taking them so long. Alright, well then, let's kill this. I'm gonna do this, and then this, and then this, and then... Let's see. Pop the world here. Take this. Put a bomb here. Put a bomb here. Put a bomb there. Walk out, walk back in. Take that black heart, pull this. Let's, we have enough bombs to justify doing that. And we have enough bombs to justify putting one there. And then get in a nice square and pop the cards versus humanity. Interesting. I did not realize it would only fill up the room where once there was empty floor space. So today we learned. This is still probably the best room to have popped it in, but yeah, I was expecting to see a considerably uh, marked difference as far as where the poops were going to appear. and. If we find the petrified poop in this, there is definitely a question whether you take it in favor of building up our bombs some more. I think you probably do still take it uh, because, let's face it, we've got, we've got enough going on with bombs now that I could be fairly wasteful with them. Hmm. hmm. We'll have to go back and consider about the challenge room later. Let's see. Darn it. I did that totally wrong. up all of these bombs take another baby I mean we really are just on an all baby run yeah I think I'm gonna have to put my foot down and just say no it's just no to the idea of Go. Damage and challenge up. Battery, we might as well just buy everything we can. Yeah. Let's see if there's a super secret room here. We will trade one bomb for two keys. Is it worth trading one bomb for a few more flies? Probably not. Yeah. We've done the dice roll rooms almost every run and it, it's now time to get a little bit more serious with it and, and realize that that's not always going to be the right move. And that there is room for just appreciating what you have now instead of going for random differences. Hmm. So I'm gonna hit that and that's gonna fill my health. Uh, 
Um, I guess we could get the battery, though. Yep. See, this would put us in a weird position also if we got an arcade room, because... I'm not sure what I'd really be looking for in an arcade room. Yeah, just, I guess, we'll take this and play some safety. Hmm. Speed shot up. Soul heart, full card. Hmm. Yeah. Our speed shot going up would be helpful. Now, do you get anything for skipping a dice room? Probably not. Hmm. So, this would give us bombs or keys, and maybe the dollar, which would be kind of useless. This could give us coins, uh, and maybe health, which could, a health upgrade might be useful. This could give us soul hearts. Um, or we can just kind of skip it all and let's see I guess the right way to do this would be something closer to that challenge is up so now we're getting brimstone guys We do have enough bombs here to blow up this, so might as well, plus the double everything. I guess the, the real trick here is just to avoid picking up or being near the troll bombs. Yeah, we very well may just leave what is going to be a ridiculous amount of bombs and and soul hearts all on the floor. Get out of that way. Uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of looking for money equals damage at this point. Uh, there might be an argument towards even using a sacrifice room. Got a full card. Hmm. Yeah, we can take Dead Onion, Toxic Aura Tears. Yeah, we're unlikely to actually be able to re-roll any of that. This is not a bad room to do something like this. That way you just can do that. Now we've got a Joker card. We've got all kinds of other cards. Money shaker. Let's go ahead and take this. It's 48 hour energy. Money shaker might be something to consider. Um, instead of flies. Uh, yeah. Definitely is a consideration now like normally you wouldn't do that but but yeah something that's just gonna be a pain 
as far as our room, you could just do that a couple of times and potentially clear an entire floor. Devil card, Emperor card. Um, what floor are we on? Necropolis 2? I think that also takes us to to mom's foot. So is there anything else to even go for on this? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we can see we, we would like some range up. That, that would be nice. Without the flies helping, this is going to be a fairly slow experience. I'm going to put a bomb here and a bomb here and that'll pop the poops easier. We don't know where the secret room is, so could it be there where, where the poop was? I don't think so. And just pick up any soul heart damage we already have taken. These guys actually are damaged by the penny shaker. Hmm. So I could also use it that. But I guess I kind of don't want to. Are these guys hurt by it? Yes, they are. Interesting. Troll bombs. I should have cleared the room before I started blowing things up. Yeah, slow shot speed and We'll go with the left hand instead. There we go. That should get us guppy. We are now flying. Good. That worked out very well. Take the dark heart. Um, I guess? Coins. Two, three, four. You can't choose, though. So we can gamble on that, that to that level. But I guess what we would be looking for now would be hearts. Or dollar. Or money equals damage. We could use a couple of coins or keys. Theoretically, because you're doubling everything, you're in a much better situation. That gets me back to where we were. Pills. I forgot about pills. I guess if we gamble all here and we don't get the dollar, we at that point should consider um, consider going back to just the yep. Hmm. Yeah, that puts us in a weird position where maybe we should just have the fly head instead. We can just 
do we go into the other area? I mean. You know, it's crazy, but let's do this. Nope, that let's not do that because that took a soul heart. I thought that was gonna take red hearts. Hmm. Did we find the secret room? No. Let's test here. And test here. Put a bomb here. Put a bomb in there. Hmm. Super secret rooms? I guess we'll have to hope we can find it. We can now blow this up and blow this up. Um, I think we're probably at this point just trying to find a Let's see is it really worth it to to buy something just to buy something hmm I don't think it is uh, guppy's head now now that we are guppy I'm, I'm not going to take it this run. Uh, that's the best I can say is maybe that's wrong, maybe that's right, but uh, I'm just not going to take it. So this one goes about right here. So if I put a bomb here. Night. Dark heart. Hmm. Hmm. And this will let us, at the very least, uh, you know what, why am I not using my ability? Use those coins to advantage. Seriously. We did get a deal with the devil. Which will take a goat head trade there. But also, in this case, I, I want to just escape out. Um, but if I were to escape out using Joker, would that get me out of this room? Or would that just get me into the Joker room and back into this section? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just going to have to be for another run that that we'll use the Joker, we'll use Telepills probably instead of the Joker to escape out of this room. If there's some kind of achievement around that, um, it's probably not that big of an achievement. Hmm. And so, yeah, this pretty much suits, sets us like we're not going to get a lot of other offerings. Um, I kind of don't have a reason to pop cards. I kind of don't have enough reason to try and find... Oh. Hmm. Do I need to take Dead Cat in this run? Hmm. I, there would have to just be a ridiculous amount of soul hearts on the on the floor otherwise like we'll, we'll let we'll see how this goes but at the moment I think the answer is probably no to that we can go ahead and fight this mama gurney right. that flies immediately do some massive damage HP tears up and shot speed down that's not helpful hmm. 
And I don't know if you get Krampus because you didn't weren't naturally going to get a deal with the devil and you forced it with the goat head or if you just sometimes get Krampus. Wouldn't be surprised if you just sometimes get Krampus. Alright, well. Joker room in this case. Again, probably not super useful. Go ahead and hit this. And hit this. Blow up this. Recoup our money situation in we go and out we go yeah which that still did damage hmm. go ahead and take this and is it worth it at 50 bombs to try and find tinted rocks I mean I can put a bomb here can t touch Guppy's paw at the very least. Hmm. It it's getting down to a question of is there an argument towards having all the Guppy items? Because yeah, it feels like what I could do now is I could use Darn it. I could use Guppy's Paw to increase my soul hearts to a very high number, and then that kind of limits just how much damage I can take. But that's fine, I'm gonna take whole heart damage anyways. Um, and then I could get nine lives after transferring most of my red hearts into soul hearts anyways. that it might be worth it just for an experiment just to make sure that works wow two dead cats interesting all right well this is gonna do something crazy then all right we do this then this then this then this then this and one more for good measure you touch that and that gives you potentially 10 lives we take this back we go up here we go over here and we touch this and this should give us 19 lives <laughs> wow I, I may very well just made a world record on the maximum number of lives uh, anyone has have ever had on the Binding of Isaac Rebirth uh, 19 is crazy uh, 19 one hit and you die lives certainly but 19 lives nonetheless um, I don't know if dead cat does anything else to like increase your fly production I do see that I have a massive amount of flies right now but next time we fight a fairly large enemy I wouldn't be surprised if it Starts to drain that number. Hmm. Couple of keys would be helpful, mostly if we could get into the chest. But to get into the chest, you have to have the Polaroid, and I don't think I can get the Polaroid. I don't think I've unlocked it yet. Hmm. It may be that the Polaroid is still locked behind beating Mega Satan. And so there's a factor limiting me there. And there's kind of no reason to even bomb, bomb these. 
You just make more soul hearts that that don't matter. Every room has a potential for um guess we'll look for super secret rooms. Let the bomb actually explode. <laughs> Go ahead and take that. Can't be a secret room down this way. Secret room down this way. Go ahead and take that soul heart. Can't be secret rooms this way, but there could be a super secret room this way. Could be. Can't be that way. We already found the secret room. I guess we're only looking for the super secret room. Couldn't be this way. But probably isn't. Hmm. I could have traded another. You know what I need to do? Is I need to go back this way. I, there is a reason now to blow this up. And. Yeah, we'll stick with the left hand trinkets. Yeah, so I guess we're going to end this floor with one shy soul heart. So we might be seeing the negative aspect of, of playing poorly. But I could have used Guppy's hand to transfer more of the one more red heart into soul hearts. Secret room down here. I, I guess I could still do it. Do that. There's, use Guppy's paw to do that. It kind of doesn't matter. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually is like 40 or 50 cents to try and beat Isaac. Hmm. We checked every room, every wall on this room. Wow. I don't see a path for any super secret room unless there has been some some change as to how things work and there is just a possibility that one side of a room can get to a super secret room and the other side of the room can't or that the rocks being in the way or holes being in the way don't count anymore It really does just feel like there is no super secret room on that floor layout. The irony here, of course, is I'm doing a run that has all these little babies and buddies uh, following me. Just, oh, I have two dead cats following me too. Interesting. Um, and then I'm going to try the family man challenge where, where it's a whole bunch of babies and buddies following me. Alright, telepills. We'll take those. Spoon bender with homing shots. That could be helpful. 
but in all honesty, anything can be helpful, so just keep playing. Yeah, we, we still would want our damage up as high as possible. Hmm. And we'll come back if we need any soul hearts. <laughs> it does feel like we have a situation here where we are getting double the flies. Interesting, we could skip and go down to the lamb and all that, but we wouldn't want to do that. Hmm. Okay, so then we're going to telepill out. Oops. Uh, 48 hour energy is not going to help us any. Um, with each room clear, I guess we are probably building up more flies. If not, it kind of doesn't even really matter because we're still helping ourselves nicely to, to other potential deal with the devil chests. Hmm. Wow, this is an empty room. Interesting. Hmm. Magnet. Magneto. I don't think I've collected that item before. Um, do we really have enough to to, oops. Um, we we probably don't have enough bombs to just try and blow up rocks or potential other items. You you pretty much don't have ever a good point in any run in which you want to do that. That's that's just a little too wasteful of your time. Hmm. Like, tinted rocks give you the advantage because you know uh, visually whether you have a high chance of success or not. But random rocks that give you results don't give you any kind of indication, as far as I know. Maybe there's something you could do with the seed and figure out exactly where the random rocks would be. It probably has a lot more to do with just randomization and the number of things. Like the number of rocks you've actually blown up. I guess I want Skatol? I don't want this, so we can go ahead and blow that up. Do I need keys or bombs? No. So. I suppose we just play this and hope for Skatol and hope our luck is, like our, our luck is not, not at the bare zero, but of course, if I'm going to do this, I need to quit hitting flies. Which, I should just be firing forward. Taking two hits on flies. Which 
side wants to pay out. I think it is the right side. There we go. So fly love, probably not going to help us much. Speed up we'll take. Take that. Go back this way. And we've got soul hearts, but they're all really far away, unfortunately. But better to play safe than, than sorry. Um, let's put a bomb here and see if that would have been a secret room. Nope. Let's put a bomb here. Let's see if that's a secret room. Nope. Hmm. Yes, we put a bomb here and see if that's a secret room. Yes, we'll put a bomb there and see if that's a secret room. There may just not be a secret room. Here we have a gold key. 48 hour energy speed down. Hmm. And I'm just gonna hope that we can get a soul heart without having to run all the way back. Good. Put a bomb here. That's the super secret room, which will take like, we're in utero too, so we probably should just take it now. And then... Was this a secret room? No. Was this the secret room? No. Yeah. Seems again like there really wasn't one. And we've got yet another buddy slash baby. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this now. And hope I can do massive amounts of damage while not taking any damage. Okay, deal with the devil, just take you downward. Um, so there's kind of no reason to go in here and check it out. We're going up to... to Isaac Cathedral. And ideally we'd like to go to the chest, but we don't have the Polaroid, so... that's not gonna happen. Um, for a second there I thought all my buddies had disappeared. No, they are just making a standing in the center okay so this is the final floor we probably should use the left trigger item some more um, and just kind of avoid like avoid trying to clear the whole floor off let's just get to isaac if we can get to isaac Um, that being said, I guess maybe with the issues we have here, maybe it would be better to just play the whole floor since we're getting power-ups. As long as we're not taking damage, that was taking damage. There you go. Boom. Tin bombs. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is just a question about... Are you... Safe? Hmm. And we've got to deal with the devil here in the cathedral, even. 
which is interesting. We can see if we can blow this up. Since we have bombs anyways. That didn't do anything, obviously. Alright, so we would be looking for a super secret room at this level. And I suppose as long as we don't just walk into the boss room, we can find where it is. We are just kind of killing everything. If we are going to look for a super secret room though, we might as well just search now with amnesia enabled. Hmm. What are we looking for? I don't think we're looking for anything. Pills can be about the only thing I would expect. Okay. So put a bomb here. Put a bomb here. Put a bomb there. We didn't hear the sound effect. So we assume there's no super secret room on any of those. I guess what we're looking for now is soul hearts. Let's put a bomb in the middle of the rocks. Just if we see big clumps of, of rocks, we'll blow them up. Because we've, at 40 bombs, we've got enough to, to be a little wasteful with them. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, don't think a super secret room would be there. Notice how the spider bite is really slowing down the movements of these characters. Still very easy to die. There, I just got an eternal heart. Wasn't really expecting that. Take the telepills. Probably nothing on any of these walls. Hmm. Hmm. Golden key. Steam sale. Guess you go into this area? $3 bill gives you rainbow tears. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the telepills. There's no telling where we are. I think I know where we are. Um, so rainbow tears, another slight upgrade. Paralysis, speed up. Yep, as much as we can get, we'll take all those coins too. We'll take paralysis, but we'll want to trade it for telepills again. Let's see, bomb here, bomb here, bomb here. Just trying to be quick about this. Probably not there. Hmm. There's the telepills. They're right in front of the, the room, so let's just drop them. Come over here. Pick up. 
everything. Now we've got... There's not a lot of rooms left. I'm here. Want to be careful not to accidentally just touch the flame and hurt myself. Trading potentially a soul heart for a soul heart. I'll just pull the trigger on a room like this because yeah that could have been a little dangerous hmm chaos card all right we'll try a chaos card on Isaac theoretically instant death if we throw it at Isaac um, although it may not actually work. Hmm. And I think that puts us in the final run. I don't think there's really anything else we can do. I'm now like going to have to just try and blow up rocks or potential tinted rocks that's about all that's left yeah all we really can hope for is more soul hearts But we are very well situated to win. And maybe we should hold on to like seven bombs just in case. But I don't think I'm going to do that. It is also very possible that there is a collection of soul hearts that I missed and left on the floor somewhere and I'm just forgetting about them. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything else we can do that we've got this though. I mean, we've got a very high chance of success here. We can throw the chaos card first as long as we can get a good shot. Um, which I think is kind of easy with Isaac. We can um, pull the penny 92 times if necessary. We've got a lot of soul hearts and we've got 18 to 19 plus lot of chances if it, we get really desperate. Alright, All right, so... I threw this chaos card at him, it didn't do anything. Alright, well then we will just wait till he's on the ground and then pull the trigger. Knows how it is, I'm really not doing a lot of damage there, but we got plenty of coins. Hmm. So I guess you just fight Blue Baby the first time to unlock Blue Baby, and then every time after that, you you fight Isaac. Hmm. Hmm. And this is just the same ending, but we have now unlocked the relic. So it does feel like with every run you are going to potentially, with every new successful clearing of the top left post-it there, you are going to potentially unlock one item, and that may very well be the, the one and only item that happens for this. So, there's very little reason, other than just science, to play as Magdalene going forward. We, we just want to do the boss rush with her and that's it um 
once we've got the boss rush done then it is just maybe playing on hard to get all the same post-it completions done or you just wait until the afterbirth dlc is purchased or until i can get it for myself and, and then when there's new dlc you play as the characters to unlock new items again i'm sure and then there's definitely arguments to try and play as these other characters where a single successful run of Eden in particular could go through Mom's Heart uh, and Satan and Mega Satan um, and a boss rush. You could almost completely clear the post-it in one good run but you can't quite do it because there's no way I think particularly in Rebirth to go to the cathedral and then get back into Shoal in the dark place. We still are also looking for a way to unlock the chest. And see, this would be a good point to potentially just end the recording fairly early. Like, it has been consistently inconsistent as far as the runs. This Family Man challenge. Uh, like, this key in this room like doesn't yep it isn't really gonna help you on the first run and you've got three little babies and you've got a shop which could double your bombs for seven cents if you can get seven cents you would almost have to hope they, to get a nickel or a dime. You'd have to get a dime from that. Yeah, double your bombs on a run like this could be very helpful. Um, is there a reason to even take on that kind of room? Or on these challenges, is it better just to be done? I think it, it's probably better to just try and win. is yet another one of these challenges where you you are limited because you can't shoot and so any of the tears shooting elements become kind of pointless yeah, this is mostly just about getting a fly to attack him We didn't get, we had a lot of followers and we still didn't get any new unlock for having a certain number of followers. So either that was some, either you unlock one more follower by doing this challenge, which seems potentially very likely, or um, there is just an achievement somewhere else. Edge key look up and two keys and then we'll go ahead and do that also just to see if that was that would open the deal with the devil I was fairly certain it wasn't going to okay we're in a weird position because I didn't look for the super secret room did I find it though no? yeah I guess I did so I didn't get the secret room, which is probably here. Yeah. Is it worth it to take out the fires in this room? And they very possibly could damage you first. I just wasted a black heart to destroy four red fires.
And all I have is two coins. I could have picked up the black heart later. So, starting off pretty poorly. Hmm. And this definitely could be one of these runs that looks like you're just going to mom's heart, but in actuality, you're going all the way to Mega Satan. Um, to actually win. That would certainly make a lot of sense for a challenge, the final challenge of this, of Rebirth. And that does also imply to me that whatever we're failing to do to unlock the Polaroid, which I just need to look that up is more than likely the thing that is stopping us from being able to to unlock challenge 11. Yep. We fairly smoothly transitioned from the point of just being able to play the game and fairly consistently always have something new and interesting unlocked to now having to really go and do the research move to platinumgod.co.uk and and find it find out what thing is unlockable and how you would unlock it all right we got the music that we found the, the, a secret room so even though we don't see it you know it's there still kind of want to clear these rooms I don't think I'm gonna win on this challenge, but a little practice wouldn't hurt. I probably will play this challenge off screen um, just for variety's sake. All, right. All kinds of pills. Luck up, luck down, speed up, range down. Are you a wizard? Well, here's a tinted rock. Man. It really is not worth it, is it? Like, even though I'm really just trying to get like one penny would be great. It, it's not worth your time in a challenge like this to try for this. Yep. Best case scenario, I buy this. I blow up this with that, which is not guaranteed return. Which then gives me this. And then that's that. Yep. And you know what? I think I'm just going to end this recording here. Um, it's weird and awkward to not continue, but we don't particularly have a good setup for a run. I'm going to have to play this off screen. Uh, and fingers crossed, I'll start next episode and we'll be close to being completely done with this challenge. That's going to be it for this recording, though. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.